Hey guys, Jed Conklin here. I've been getting a lot of people asking me about the recipe for my bone broth that I made out of the elk bones from one of the elk I shot this year. Bone broth has some great health benefits. You guys should look it up. It's really easy to make. It takes a long time, but it doesn't require a whole lot of effort. You're gonna take five pounds of marrow bones and joint bones and a pretty simple set of ingredients. You're gonna cook it for a real long time. That's about it. Stick with me and I'll show you how to do it. All right, guys, we have the oven set for 400 degrees. We're gonna roast these bones for 45 minutes. All right, guys, we have those bones in the oven roasting. Here we have our ingredients. You're gonna take three tablespoons of peppercorn, three smashed cloves of garlic, two bay leaves, three or four sprigs of rosemary, three or four sprigs of thyme, three carrots chopped big chunks, fennel quartered, two yellow onions quartered. You're gonna take a cup of red wine. You're gonna take about half a cup of apple cider vinegar. And you're gonna take those bones out of the oven and you're gonna add those into your stock pot. This is our basic ingredients that's gonna make our bone broth. All right guys, here's another look at those ingredients all prepped and ready to rock and roll. Here's our pot. We have two gallons of water in that stock pot. We're gonna bring that to a boil. Let's check out our bones. They've been in for about 45 minutes and they're looking really good. They have that nice deep dark brown color. All those drippings are coming off on the bottom of the pan. Now you're gonna to wanna to take these bones and the drippings and add those to your stock pot. One of the best ways to get these drippings off the bottom of your pan is to add a little bit of that red wine which will deglaze that pan. And then you can pour all of that along with the bones and the ingredients in your stock pot. We're gonna cook this for 18 hours in this stock pot. We're gonna strain it and we're gonna jar it. But we'll get to all that here real soon. Okay guys, so we have all of our ingredients in our pot. Now obviously it drops the temperature down when you add this to the water. So you're gonna to wanna to keep the, the heat on high until you bring this back up to a boil. But then you're gonna to wanna to turn this down to a simmer. All right, we'll see you guys in 18 hours. I'm out. All right guys, it's the next day. So this has actually been cooking for like 22 hours. And the reason I cooked it a little longer is because you want all those connective tissues and cartilage to dissolve away from the bone. That's what makes your bone broth, bone broth. So I went on to cook this an extra four hours. Now we're good, ready to go. Another important thing, throughout the course of the morning and the afternoon and the evening as you cook this, make sure your water levels not drop too far. It will start to drop. Just keep keeping that water level the same as it was when you first turned on the pot. So I had to add water throughout the course of this entire process. Now we're ready to go. This is looking really good. I'll show you a photo of what this looks like. Then we're gonna strain it, then we're gonna jar it, then we're done. Talk to you guys soon. All right guys, our bone broth is finally ready. You can see we have a nice great color in here, but what I also wanted to show you is what the bones look like when, they've been, when they're ready to go. We have a bone right here. As you can see, it's been all the connective tissues, all the cartilage has been taken off this bone. The only thing that you can see is a little bit of the char from when we roasted it, but all of the other stuff is off the bone. That's what you want. That's what you want inside the bone broth. That gives you all the health benefits. That's what makes bone broth bone broth. So now that we have this and we're ready to rock and roll, we're gonna strain it. Because we have a stock pot here, it's gonna have one level of straining already built in. Then we're gonna have to strain it again before we jar it. We'll get right to that. All right, folks, here we go. So, we have our stock pot. All we're gonna do is we're gonna lift this up. Let this drain. This has all of our solids in it, all of our bones, all of our vegetables, all of our spices. Everything else locked in right here. Make sure we get all the goodness out of it because that's what we've been waiting so long for here. All right. Now we're going to get a smaller strainer and we are going to strain the rem remnants of this into a another pot and then we're going to jar it. All right, guys, we're finally done. So we pulled the stock off of the stove. We strained it initially with the built-in strainer that we had in our stock pot. Then we strained it again with this smaller strainer and we put it into two pots. Now I let it cool for just a little bit and then we're gonna jar this thing right now. So this is what, you wanna be careful because you're about to pour this into the jar, right? 
what's going to happen is you're going to seal these up. You're going to put them in the fridge and a fat cap is going to form on the top of this. You're going to want to remove that fat cap before you use the bone broth. But otherwise, we finally reached the finish line here. So hopefully I don't spill this. A little bit of a spill, but not too bad. So we're going to repeat this for the rest of the jars. Then we're going to seal them up, and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Thanks. All right, guys, all done. Eight quarts of bone broth in a little bit. Now, these were made from elk bones, but you can also use beef bones. There's all kinds of health benefits from bone broth. You guys should read about it. There's also great recipes from soups to drinks to sauces you can make with bone broth. So the next time you get an elk, don't throw those bones away. I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and please reach back to me with any kind of feedback you might have. I appreciate it. Take care.